Got speed of the bat versus Karuchi. Trying to see if he can catch up with the big rippy hand. Wraith walk as well. Trying to get some zombos in there. There's some bozos. I'm trying to slowly walk over that speed. Can't dodge it. Doesn't have dodged it. I was thinking it was going to be in that circle. As Karuchi trying to summon up even more undeads. Speed so far has been able to avoid the entire army. Finally, the second, the all the pets, the succubus, the arbiter. Gargoyle able to get some big damage speed might be in a bit trouble as long as he stays next to that undead He might be able to take oh <laughs> big rip as to and the zombie explosion speed might actually be done for the count here Wait, Kirishi is also super super low IBF got himself a bit of a bleed It's gonna be a gold sacrifice trying to see if he catch back up, but oh as he got a zombo at the end it is over with LG sucks not getting his speed even a breather right now just getting in there immediately trying to see if we could tear him apart instantly Full dots. Speed needs to catch up a lot of health. This fear is going to be able to get kind of bit of damage onto LFG. Trying to see if we can dodge around him. But it's going to be a bit of damage extra as LFG trying to get back over there to speed. Kinnishat does not have a trinket for this one. Human racial overdue was used. I think it's over, right? Oh, huh? no, oh, I was going to save for a second. Maybe the knockback would do, but no, he just did a quick little backstab and he wasn't able to do it. I do like that massive fist weapon you got going on, by the way. I like how there's like a tiny little dagger, and then the fist is like equivalent to like a buckler or like a shield. You know what I mean? Diabolical is gonna be up next versus I Love G Sucks as the man tried to see if he can get past the uh, destruction war like Sap. Actually, no, not Destro. Your demonology. Didn't they nerf demonology quite a bit for PvP recently? Or like the changes that they've got for 10.15? were essentially a nerf. Shadow Mill by LFG sucks. Got himself a shadow step. The true trinket as the axe toss comes out. Diabolicals does go for a bigger bit of a dark pack. And then try to see if he can back up out of the LFG with a vanish. First vanish of the night. Burned right then and there. He's probably gonna get a lot more vanishes, honestly. If Diabolicals can get his pet in a decent spot, gonna walk by the pet. You should know that the pet once he gets sapped up, you know that LFG is gonna approach from that direction. Got himself a little bit of land aside. Second, Velgar joined in. I just realized your Felgards are red. That's a little... Is that different or is that the normal color of Felgard? The, the fact that you could change him around now, it's a little different. Big damage on LFG. And now the access by the pet. Mortal Call to follow. Does he just go down right here? Hold on, cheat death. Oh! <laughs> that mortal call with the axe toss of the tyrant got him some final hit after the cheat death is proc. That was perfect. Those pets. It's almost like they had a brain for a, for a second. And almost like they had a strategy going on. Even though I know a lot of the destruction warlock pets or demonology warlock pets really. Warlock pets in general are not always that smart. Tyrants in particular are supposed to be this mastermind general demonic army that does the dumbest things a lot of the time. Diabolicals will reflect. Seaver goes in to, ref to reflect an interrupt on himself to make sure he got himself that temporal or precognition. He immunity to CC. Big damage to Diabolicals. Mad touch of the magic. Trying to see if he can chase on him. Oh my god. I just turned my camera to the left and the right and just got caught in the grate. And I missed a lot of it, what it feels like. Oh, that is a lot of damage though. Prime Elf gonna be up next. Try to see if he can get himself some damage. Got himself full ink card. Silence on the Sea Mark is able to at least back away out of there with a temporal. Looking for a bit of recovery as a uh, ghostly wolf flying at him. The spirit of. What is it? Goldrin? I think it is Goldrin, right? The talent? Or is that what the animation is supposed to be? I always liked it. They added a uh, back in Legion, I think it was, right? From the artifact opens. As the Sea Mark tried to see if he can mount up, big arc explosions everywhere. Almost catching Prime Elf with that massive, massive range that it has. Rain of fire as well as missiles. Touching the magic, lots of damage. Bash and rough. Does he go for a blink? I don't think he goes for a blink, right? I guess he already blinked earlier. Big damage to the Prime. Does go for the bear form. Barkskin as well. Last second, trying to see if he can dodge away and reduce the damage of the touch of the magic. Ring of Frost is going to be able to stop for just a second. As Seavark is able to clean him off of all the buffs really, really quick. The missiles around the corner. He just keeps going for the missiles and just go behind the corner. Just blast him out of the way into an intro. Prime Elf might be in a bit of trouble. Interrupted on nature. Still has access to arcane abilities. Try to see if he can make something happen for Seavark. Big blaster. Oh, and Seavark still got himself. Big blast damage ready with an arcane surge. Giving him the arcane power. With Quick Queen going to be up next. Seavark can maybe take the momentum and just take it towards Quick Queen. Does get a trap down for a second. Ring of Fire. Needs to get back over there. Try to see if he can ring down Quick Queen. Either you're standing in fire or you're standing in the frost. Touching the Magi. Does see him some big damage? Looks like power. Arcane power has waned after using the arcane surge. It's only on you for like how many seconds? Unless you use the tier set, which can kind of prolong it a little bit longer. Maybe, sort of, kind of. Like a weaker version, but kind of not that weak. This is going to be barrages down back to back for Ralph. Quick win, try to see if we can close that gap. Looking to get a little bit of damage more towards Seaver. Definitely wants to go for that big D Dragon Breath setup. 
Try to see if we land that Rob does have a blink for that one in particular. This is going to be a full ebb of Mike. Crickman's going to have a hard time catching up to Seabark, locking him down in place, especially with those blinks. Especially with those blinks. I don't think he can even root him or anything. Does get frozen as they try to go around the bend. Gives Roth an opportunity to at least get a setup with Squid Quid, stealing all the Evoker buffs as much as he can. Sleepwalk does go for an intro, upheaval, knocking up the mage for a second. Big fire bend, but still takes a lot of his. You're not touching the magic. That might be a mad big touch of the magic. Could potentially crush it down. Does as much, a little bit of damage, not as much as I thought, but still quite a bit either way. The Quick Quid able to get himself a little bit of healing, but I think Silver can spell stealing all those heals. So all those shields, they're just gone. Trying to see if we can barrage him down. Doesn't get hit with a sleep. Drake inside of it. That's going to be quick and able to get himself a cheat death and looking for that recovery. The Evoker does have quite a bit of that survivability. Damage is definitely there and needs to go for the big setup. I wish I could just see their cooldowns though. Because I don't I don't know what the deep breath is. Where is the deep breath in abilities? Intro by Seavark. Pretty early on. Try to dodge the arcade surge. If you can maybe get a blink out of Seavark right now. Now that he doesn't have an intro, this could be a pretty good spot for Quick Quinn right now. If you could just get in there next to Seawark, lock him down for just a second, maybe knock him up in the air and see if he goes for a blink. Because if you get yourself a deep breath on a blink after a blink is gone, that's going to be huge for you. If you could just get yourself a small little setup, fire breath, everything. Because the combo is really, really quick. If you can execute it, just, you just need yourself a second to execute it. That's all you need. But Seawark, trying to see if we can deny it as best as possible. I think over time, though, Seawork might just end up winning this duel. Run into Roth. Not gonna go blink at this one. Definitely needs to find a way to counter blink some way, somehow. He's gonna interrupt him on nature for just a second. Seawork trying to see if he can get himself a better angle. Might be. This one, again, could be a blink opportunity. Any one of those could be a blink opportunity. Bred by Seawork, he knows he doesn't wanna blink. He knows if he can help it, he doesn't want to blink. Big damage onto Quick Queen. Does get interrupted on an arcane to try to see if he can hamper some of the output by Seawork. Can I just stand in the Ring of Fire or Ring of Frost? Not a great spot to be in at all. It's going to be a bit of shielding. Interrupt by Seawork. Might be in a bad spot. If you can interrupt him on Arcane too, that could be an opportunity. No, Barrage of Missiles. Oh my goodness. He's just everywhere. Nowhere, man. Seawork's mobility is incredible. My goodness. I was kind of rooting for Quick Queen there, honestly. I was rooting for the AUG Evoker, I'm not gonna lie. I love watching my man Seawork, but watching AUG Petition Evokers play and seeing that little setup they can do, I wanna see it again. That's all I wanna see is I wanna see it again. Ring of Fire, Rob got himself big blasters. It's gonna be Kevin with a bubble, just trying to see if he can potentially counteract all damage from Rob. Just go for a quick invis. Are you playing massive invis? Are you playing greater invis? What kind of invis are you playing? I'm not even sure. I feel like you just invis a couple of times now. Maybe that was just your first invis on night. Maybe I got it wrong. Gonna be missiles down as Kevin got himself the big shield of shield of vengeance to fortify his forward momentum. But it looks like he's actually looking for a bit of an escape from Roth. Needs a bit of a breather behind the pillar until he gets some cooldowns back up and running. I'm not sure if Kevin's already used wings or not. Again, they being lined up like this with a ring of fire on one side, ring of frost on the other. You literally can't go anywhere. Just zoning you out entirely. Sun to Rob does have a blink for this one. It's going to be Kevin with a big divine toll. Does have some a big setup. Will not be able to counter the divine surge. May just need a, some kind of a defensive spell ward is going to give him plenty of survivability. Off still has himself lots of potential damage available. But he just needs to wait out the spell ward. And as soon as that thing is done, then maybe you can make some damage happen. Finally, Missile's able to make an impact into Kevin's health with the barrage to follow. Able to keep barraging the guy constantly. Every single global if you wanted to. Trying to get him some mobility to get around Kevin. Big barrages back to back. More knockbacks. Trying to see if he can trap him in a ring of frost. Unable to stun onto Rob. Doesn't have a blink for this one. With a head of freedom stolen by the mage away from the uh, paladin. Not really giving you much of an option. You can't really go behind the pillar. You can't really approach Rob without getting slowed. Not in a great spot to be in whatsoever. Kevin, does he back up? Does he stay in? He's going to have to go through ring of fire into touch of magic. Missiles chasing after him. There's only so much you can really do in this situation. Rob is not letting this guy touch him whatsoever he's maximizing his mobility as best as he can touch the magic could be huge maybe barrage oh, oh, oh my goodness there's actually nothing that can stop an rk mage especially like it's a melee class the mobility he has is actually insane there's some super saiyan stuff right now it's just he's just everywhere and nowhere so keeping track of where seamark is at is i think basically impossible might as well be impossible. <laughs> so good though. <laughs> My god. The difference too. I've seen like a lot of RK mages join these duels, but none of them play like Seaborg.